One TV special, 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 special report, special report. Tolong kelak baik. We have to have evidence. Ah, engineer Titis, could you clarify? Engineer Titis, please. Ah, in our city ordinance one zero zero one dash zero four, there is a provision there that. Tulo ka metros gikan sa imong tugaran imo nang tulubagon. Yes. 3 meters from your premises that is your responsibility. So whether household whether establishment tulo ka metros gikan sa inyong tugaran kamoy manglimpyo. Thank you for the clarification. So nasa old ordinance Three meters from your house, otokaran, imong ispiridad. So, malimpyo ka, limpyo ni mo. Nasa o dinansa karaan. Pero katong isampo ni Ma'am Elbe, iyang imong yuta, overnight, labay ka besora, katong naglabay mo ito ay naibilisyon. But the law requires evidence from a probe. Kinsa ay nagbalit. Uh, Mr. Chairman, to add, adaghanag na hitabo na sa ato ah. And usually, uh, we coordinate with barangay people, o kayon yun na mo ang mga basura. Kung makakita mi og ebidensya, may shuhan na itong tiket, maabsolve ang tag-iya sa, tag sa yuta or sa tugaran. Pero og wala gani, Either ang barangay among ipasegregate before na mo kuliktahon. So wala tay maisyuhan ana. Kung ma-prove sa tag-iya sa balay or sa yuta nga dili jud iya ha. Naay mga instances, naay mga establishments nato dinhi uh, gipakita gyud mi niya sa iyang CCTV nga nag-drop gyud og basura sa ilahang duol. So, wala siya na mo gi-issuehan of violation ticket. Thank you. Yun yun. Kanyang good. Ang tanang, evidence siya. Pisa sa ato kaskorte, evidence yun ang importante. No? Kung nakakay allegation, you have an evidence for that to support your allegation. Who other is pressing? Since this afternoon, we are here to study on amendments. Yes. An nga balaod, wapo ko kabasa, nga 3 meters gikan sa atong property, ato pa ng responsibility. So sa ato pa, kung nai naglabay o basura sa imong dool sa imong property, na yun, layo ka anang property. Palang nitan, nakaka din sa Sintro Kapuyo, na imong property, Nasa layo-layo din nila, laing barangay. Ngayon, wala kay CCTV to prove na naigalabay. So, will it be your responsibility ka po na? Silutan ba ka tungod sa naigabuhat niya na? So, ang akong question, kay naamata din eh, dapat we have to qualify on sa ginang pangitabo nga makita na itong basura na in the event, wala po tayo kapakita kayo kung matay CCTV dito sa itong farm lang Layo-layo nga properties. So, ang sa'yo dapat buhato na na or usbo nun. Kaha. At ang malawad, sir, general law, na yung mga good faith, defense of good faith, kuwa dyan kayo sala, kaya wala ka na, layo kayo mong property, dili ka ka, wala kayo ticket, na naglaba ito, wala kayo kapantay, di na mahimo dyan sala, gini mo. Maproblem mo na, makadepensa ka. No, pero ikaw na kasabalay, Nagilabay na, pagkamunta, kita naman na yung mga mga liter-liter sa imong takuran, timeters, palimpiohan na yung mga sa imong helper, ikaw ba yung malimpiyo? Para umawala na. Muna ang kwa sa old ordinance. Pero kung wakay kay Balok, tuas layo, imong yuta, na yung labay ito, wakay Balok, wala kay sala. Wala mang kay gihimong krimin. Wala gihimong bayo sa ordinance. Wala mang kay Balok. Mr. Chair, salamat sa pagpaklaro ni Ana kay uh, sakto na yung mong isulti kay gawa sa isinusindi ka, layo po ka sa yung property. How can you 
uh, secure your properties from uh, garbages na ilabay dito. So, I think uh, uh, appeal po na siguro sa training sa atong enforcers nga layo sa ama ng lugar, layo sa ato, dili na silutan ta kay sa ilang nakita, uh, sa ilang naibawan, basta doon, I mean, kung ba, literal kayo, kay na sa atong property, doon sa atong property, ang uh, 3 meters, within 3 meters, dapat ang tag sa property mo ay silutan. Na may ibutan sila, well, Paul, you know, good, or negligent, ka nang, na kay negligence nga, imong wala ka mong pakabana, muna ay silutan sa blaod. Well, Paul, or negligent, ikaw na imong balay, niya, kadaadlaw ka mo guwa sulod ina ay mga timeters na ay mga kindirape sa ikaw wag imo limpi eh. so nakay negligence kay klaro man pero kung wala gyud mapobre sa korte sa ang court makapobre na uh, good faith uh, wala problema na kung naay naata diha gapuyo pero kung wala ta gapuyo sa anang tong property mao diha ang atong magsugod ang atong problema kung i-enforce sa ato tong uh, Uh, violation kita na naihugaw doon sa atong property. Na yung mga, kita sa balawad siya, common defenses ba? Common, general defenses nga, di ikit maapil. Na na yung mga kukuhan sa balawad, nga, na gitamdan sa balawad, nga di na maapil na na mga uh, makilipinsa ka. Atong, uh, Mr. Chair, kinang atong penalty ba? Is this administrative pra, pra, uh, penalty or Uh, judicial penalty agi ba sa korte or naman din yung primero nga based on 3,000 ikatulog na may imprisonment munang magi sa korte so it's a uh, administrative oh, can uh, attorney John clarify on that father on second takaan mag take it o ipabay sa korte o pag mag clarify ang publiko It is provided in the existing ordinance, Mr. Chair. The process in issuing citation tickets and the apprehension procedure. So, kung 3,000, pinati press offense, ticket lang. Kung 4,000, ticket yapon. Kung 3 offense na mo ng korte na kay na may imprisonment, mo ba na, uh, Attorney John, ang pasabot? Yes, Mr. Chair, it is provided in Section 40 and 41 of the existing ordinance. Section 40 in page 23. Violators of this ordinance shall be issued citation ticket containing specific provision of the ordinance being violated and the number of days with which to settle his penalty. So this means administrative penalty with the Treasury Office to preclude the formal filing of a case in court. Now, if we would like to ask about the, penal the, third, the penalty for the third offense, since this has the corresponding penalty of imprisonment, then this necessarily entails that there will have to be a case to be filed in court because only a judge or a court of justice can impose the penalty of imprisonment. Okay, thank you, Attorney John. Okay na, sir. Pressing. Ito bag, bangota na. Uh, sir Anton, uh, you have the floor. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, follow, follow up na ako kaganina kay medyo uh, sa na-discuss ni Sir John ba regarding atong 3 meters ba ito. Medyo kuyo-kuyo na taga may good. Kaya naman tayo tindahan sa sentro. Uh, ako alam ta, uh, Attorney, Siguro na apoy gamit ga, tagaan siguro gamay og time to react kay say for example sa sumpay ni sa kong gingon kaganina na magsahay dili ko sahay most of the time mahitabo ning pangmalabay lagi kanang way galantaw so karon say for example na itay tindahan sa sentro din ilabay dapit sa inyo ha dayon syempre mag open ta for example ala size Then before ana nga makon malabyan nyo yung mga enforcers matikitan mo siguro ang responsibility will come in after nag-open mo and then nakita na nimong bus sige na naman ang basura dia belong naman siya sa 3 meters so responsibility dagina ato na ang dupan nga responsibility sa tindahan 
So right after nag nag, nag open siya if wala gihapon niya nakita that's the time siguro eh muha man ning responsibilidad nga nang wala ning hinloan kay syempre obligado naman tamang hinloan na. Di ba sig pag open or pa nag open eh nakita ang basura basig makuan ba nga oy inyo man ni gabi wala na hipos nga na siguro ba. Kanang nga uh, sitwasyon sir sa amo sa mga gado may tawag na mag evidence are. Evidence are. Isa matter of evidence nga na bagay good faith will pull ba o negligent ba ka. Isa matter of evidence Kung wala kang negligence, wala. Kung hindi will po, wala. So, it's even evidentiary. Among term na sa court, evidentiary. So, it's a matter of evidence. Kung sila ay mga sugyot nga, atong ma-repay na yung mga ordinansa, gawa sa sugyot nga, if a boss ang penalty, wala o ng public office, kung sila ay anything, nga, ladies ordinance, the committee, committees, are willing to consider i-appeal naman sa among pag-discuter o pon pag-aligig o kaya sa among ordinansa kay as of this time, it's only a proposed ordinance, proposed lang. So, morning na yung public hearing para makuha na mo yung reaksyon, remarks, observations para amo yun nga ma-refine ang ordinance kung sa ang ibahaton para among maamindar ang maligig o saan na mo aprobahan ng among aprobahan o ipinalas mayor for final approval. So, karon is the most opportune time nga mupagula mo sa iyong mga una-una pro or against favor or against ordinance. Kung against mo, wala yung masuko sa mo. We were willing to consider it on the record. Kaya amo nang apilon sa among pagdiskuter po hon. Kaya po na mo na yung second reading. Dito na mo debatihan ang pos and cons. Kung ang ngay pag i-emendar, di ba ang ngay? O na ba yung kwaon? O ang hold na nasa ba ang mong dili-apopan? So, mag-i pa ng debate na mo. Karun, ang panahon nga ang publiko, muhatag sa ilang mga giya. Mag-iyahan ang konsiyo. Kasi mga konsiyo, we have no monopoly of idea or information. We need the information about the public. Iyong mga huna-huna. Basta ang correct ideas na ninyo, wala sa mga. Unang naan ang public hearing. Especially the barangay officials. Kaya kamo may on the field. Kamo na sayo sa kahimtang sa iyong barangay. Kung sa problema. Kung kaya na magigit nga na ane ordinan sa siyang barangay, implementar. So, mone, imitan mo ka ron, pero kung ano mo ang inyong nauna, basi makatabang mo na mo sa pag-tingkay o pag-aligi ang inyong mong proposed ordinance. E kung wala na yung pangunta na, wala na yung surprising. Napakaigdiwa ka buk. Ah, ah, Further clarification atong mag-issue ang citation ticket, bitawang. So, pag-issue niya ang citation ticket, nagpasawot ba na dili nakakadepensa sa imong kaugalingon? Pwede ka mo himog dipensa. Mabayad ka. May iyong ka sa other protest. Ipurni mo imong imong protesta na wala kayo bilisong ipahinilan lang ka. Kau akan witness. So, kau yang bocor, jauh pasis ya pun, jauh pasis. Kau naik juga League On Og, League On Og, Mayo ngadi pinsa. Entah tiang ya pun saya Elgio. Oh, pay under protest. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. As usual. Question last kai, three plus na. Ah, kai, because we are already. We are going to implement a stricter policy or ordinance. The asasatong mga fines from three, four, then five na pa imprisonment. So I would suggest to your honor, kung ang atong LGU makaprovide ba, like yung ang ontak designated receptacles din sa atong ciudad, kay palangitan ako kaluwaon ko, manikmako. 
magkuan ko asa man ko manikma den wa may designated receptacles makita nato sa atong kadalanan or kasuok suok sokan so unsa man na then ikaduha pod ang kining kalibangon kahion di bawal man kag mulibang sa public places private po di pud mahimo sa akong na nabasahan bitaw kung ang atong balaod ang atong LGU magbutang og ingon ining mga uh, prohibitions kinta na agi putoy ang atong LGU magput up pod og marabag counter ba mga designated places para kalibangan kay ian maski nay bayad kaluan tingayo dua tingay bayad <laughs> mulua kam bayad ka so libang pag libang mangihi libang mo mo ana mangihi bayad ka sa public toilet, toilet. kay di mana kapungan gid ang tao na anad man ta dinhi sa kaniadto pag yon na kung kayo ang tao sandig lang pader ang babay ra alkanse kay di mahimo yo no uh, thank you sir noted ay mong mga una-una kay kung na ay mga atong mga balaod nga private provide po tao mga corresponding uh, comfort sa atong mga publiko that's a uh, well noted sir uh, on the basis of uh, thank floor. you thank you very much Mr. Chair uh, I just like to make a manifestation Mr. Chair regarding our public hearing this afternoon uh, that uh, this littering issue, uh, this was way beyond kar dugay na yugay na ito nga issue. In fact, this is a way of uh, kanapitang kung saan ka ginato pagsulbad nga ang, ang ato bitang kinaya para habitaw sa mga Japanese nga bisag ang kanal sa Japanese grabe ka, sa Japan, grabe kalimpyo nga na yung mga koy dito maglutaw-lutaw because na-inculcate naman good nilang disiplina sa mga Japanese people nga limpyado yun dapat. So, kani, we are trying to inculcate this also sa ato mga citizens sa Osamis noon. Bata pa ko, na nagyuning commercial nga kung ano ang ginagawa ng mga matatanda ay sinusunod ng mga bata. Okay, nagiging tama sa mata ng mga bata. So, the very purpose of this ordinance nga atong ginahimo karon is we become role models. Mo bitaw nga naagyud karon ang presensya sa atong mga halandong kapitan, sa atong mga owners ug proprietors sa ato ang mga food establishment, atong mga leaders sa atong uh, mga different economic sectors sa atong siyudad kay we're not doing this kay tan kami nagtan-aw nga kamo ang mga violator. We are calling you to become co implementor of this ordinance nga atong i-implementar pohon magtinabangay ta nga kita isip mga role model dako kay panglantaw mga katawhan nato kita na mismo pod amo ingon nga pss, dong ay takagluwa dong kay mahala ba kaayo ang penalty dong ayog taka so we be, we help we actually become partners sa LGU para magtinabangay ta nga mawala na yun yung litery nga dugay na yun kayo yung problema that is why uh we become, uh, kana bitong later on, magkadugay, ato na yun ang mapasa sa itong mga kabatanunan sa mga bata, nga bisag ay akong mga dagko o mga hingkod, mga akanang dagko na nga mga tao, nagdubuhat ganana. So, ang mga bata po, ilan ang ifalo? Well, well, that is why, nga, magtinabangay ta, we become role model and we become co-implementor. We become, kana bitong mag nag co partners ta for the implementation of this. Kay para once and for all, masulba na yun yung pinakagamay nga problema sa littering nga atong gipadakan. Kay we believe nga kung muta ko ang, ang kuan, na nag yung magduwa-duha mo, kinto na yun, nga di nag yung kupa nakaglabay, kay dag, aside sa dag ko penalties, kay nang naanap dapat magkuan, na idaghan-daghan na mga bata nga gatan aw na ako karoon, nga basing awaton rin eh. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Anna Bersio. Butom lang yun, Anna Isipin na. Disiplina, para sa ikaunan ng bayan, disiplina ang kailangan. Matod pa. No? So, if you have further suggestions, inputs, nga you believe is material and relevant to this proposed ordinance, kindly send your written inputs, observations, suggestions sa committee to our Secretary Attorney Ronnie Tapayan. Uh, we are willing to accept your inputs para ma- among the committee. In the meantime, uh, this public hearing uh, is, we will now to rewind, uh, to unwind this one, so we proceed to the other ordinance, no, which is also controversial, 
Basidak masakan ang mga objection sa ni, no? So, well, ano ba yun? Ato ni Nigel, please, please. Before tapo balhin sa another ordinance, Mr. Chairman, allow me to brainstorm daan aning ato ang mga bisita karon nga pohon magpropose po ta o plastic ordinance nga kada adlaw na. Nagpasalamat na ko daan sa ato mga tindahan din hi, nga ga-practice na sila sa No Plastic Day sa 15.30 o Sabadog Domingo. Special mention sa FYT, dugay na sila gagamit o newspaper. Unta ang kining mga gagmay nga mga tindahan mo a WhatsApp. Nga dili lang 15 o 30 Sabadog Domingo. Apil, apil unta sila nga kanang mo practice na nga mo gamit og balik sa mga um, biodegradable nga mga putos kay apil kani dako kaayo ang paggamit sa plastic dako kaayo ni siya og daotan nga epekto sa ato ang kinaiyahan so uh, dili man ko labot sa sunod nga ordinansa mangayo po ko og uh, dispensa to be dismissed Okay, buato na ko sa ako ang regular nga trabaho. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And okay, granted. Thank you, Engineer, for your uh, participation. Uh, your uh, observation on the plastics is well taken. Kaya tinood na, o iko na nga panahon nga, nagpatis na nga, kisitain ta, o sa mga domingo, wala, wala plastic. It's high time nga, wala na yun, wala na yun tanan. Sa mas obang lugar, wala na yun plastic. Kaya ang plastic, mo ganyan, makagrabe kayo nga maka... Di mawala ba, di madaot. Maka kuhaan sa itong environment, makadaot sa environment. So thank you for that, Dini Titis. An ordinance requiring food stocks is within the territorial jurisdiction of Osama City to mandate that at least 50% of their employees obtain corporate national certificate level 2 and C2 and or bread and pastry production. National Certificate Level 2 MC2 from recognized trading institutions or Tesla related centers. Okay, thank you. Merry Christmas. I told you, I like to introduce the selling points of this particular audience. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm gonna greet you, fellow. I'm gonna greet you in a Muslim way. It means peace upon you. I am Attorney Nurhaya Labo from the City Legal Office. This afternoon, I would like to. Uh, present to you the salient features of this ordinance. The proposed title of this ordinance is An Ordinance Requiring Food Establishments Within the Territorial Jurisdiction of Kozani City to mandate that at least 50% of their employees obtain cooperation national certificate level 2 or NC2 and or bread and pastry production national certificate level 2 from recognized training institutions or TESA affiliated centers. Since the title, proposed title is uh, a bit long, we, we have a proposal to make it shorter, which is TESA NC2 certificates mandate of capacity. Again, this ordinance requires all food establishments within the jurisdiction of the family ensure that at least two percent of their employees hold valid company national certificate level to end or bread at least in production and seafood from recognized training institutions or just the operating centers. This ordinance aims to enhance the professionalism, competence, and overall quality of food handling and service, promote consumer protection, align with national development goals and contribute to the growth of the local food industry in Osama City. This ordinance will also provide employment opportunities 
for the Sunnis nuns who have undergone test that training programs. And now we go to the uh, different section. Section one, the proposed cycle is test that MC2 certificates mandate of the city. Section two, on objective, this ordinance aims to ensure the safety, quality, and competence of employees in food establishments and also the certification requirements enhance aims to enhance the overall professionalism and competence of employees and promote consumer protection aligned with national development goals and contribute to the growth and development of the local food industry. The coverage and applicability, these are the food establishments that are covered for this insurance uh, for this ordinance. This ordinance applies to all food establishments within the territorial jurisdiction of Asami City, including but not limited to restaurants, cafes, bakeries, fast food chains, catering services, food carts, diners, canteens, snack bars, coffee shops, juice bars, ice cream parlors, pizzeria, pizzerias, carinderias, and any other establishment that cook, prepare, and serve different kinds of foods and drinks to customers. We also have section four on definition of terms. Here we define what is cookery in situ certification, what is bread and pastry production in situ certification. We also define what is food establishments. Food establishments refer to businesses engaged in the preparation sale and service of various types of foods and beverages. Again, we will enumerate these food establishments. This includes, but is not limited to rest restaurants, cafes, bakeries, fast food chains, catering services, food carts, diners, canteens, snack bars, coffee shops, juice bars, ice cream parlors, parlors pizzerias, carinderias, and any other establishment that cook, prepare, and serve different kinds of foods and drinks to customers. Also, we define what, uh, who are employees, and we exclude in the definition of employees those business owners who do not have employees as they personally manage their businesses, just, such as but not limited to home-based entrepreneurs selling homemade goods, foods, such as cookies and cakes. So to those business owners na uh, they don't have business permit and they only prepare their uh, food in their respective houses and they do not employ any employee, they are exempted to this ordinance. And then section 5, the compliance requirements. Section 5.1, for food establishments such as restaurants, hotels, resorts, Carinderias, catering services, and other establishments specializing in non baked food products and beverages, it is required again that at least 50% of their employees hold valid cookery and CP issued by a recognized training institution or TESTA accredited center. For food establishments such as bakeries, pastry shops, cafes, and other establishments, specializing in baked products, it is required that at least 50% of their employees hold valid bread and pastry production issued by a recognized training institution or test accredited center. For food establishments that engage in food services requiring both bread and pastry production, NC2 and cooker NC2, meaning those food establishments that uh, prefer, serve, and cook both baked and non-baked go uh, goods or foods. Uh, it's either cookery NC2 or bread and pastry production NC2 that uh, is required for at least 50 of your employees. Uh, in section 5.4, food establishments shall maintain records of their employees' certification, including copies of valid certificates or proof of enrollment in their respective training programs for bread and pastry production NCT or cookery NC2. 
And then uh, the food establishments are also required to display a notice in a conspicuous area within their premises informing the public of their compliance with this ordinance and the qualification of their certified employees, specifying with their bread and pastry produ production entity or cookery entity is required based on the type of establishments. Section 6 is on reporting and monitoring. The CHO, in coordination with BPLO, shall conduct regular inspection to verify compliance with this ordinance. And also, this ordinance requires the valid NC2 certificates during the renewal of business permits and also during the application of business permits for those new food establishments. And then, for Section 7, we have penalty clause. Section 7.1, any food establishment found to be in violation of any of the provisions of this ordinance shall be subject to a fine of 5,000 pesos. 5,000 pesos is the maximum penalty that is allowed under the local government code. Section 7.2, upon violation of this ordinance, the food establishments are given 30 days within which to comply with this ordinance, specifically Section 5 of this ordinance. And next, in the event that the food establishment failed to comply within the 30 days, the city government is granted the authority to temporarily suspend the operations of the establishment until full compliance is achieved. This is in line with the power of the city mayor through the BPLO to suspend operations of establishment for non-compliance of any existing ordinance or law. And then section 7.4, once the food establishment has settled the imposed fine and provided evidence of compliance, the city government of Sami shall grant authorization for the resumption of its business operation. Section 8, we have public awareness. The city government of Assamis, and we will be coordinating with the barangay officials, will undertake public awareness campaigns to inform food establishments and the general public about the requirements and objectives of this uh, ordinance. Then section 11, a tra the transitory period, a grace period will be given to existing food establishment to ensure compliance with the provisions stated in section 5. Uh, the, the grace period of six months will start from the effective, effectivity date of this ordinance. As to new establishments, a grace period of six months from the issuance of the business permit shall be granted to new food establishment to ensure compliance with the provisions stated in section 5. During the transitory period, food establishments are required to actively engage in the recruitment and training of their food handler employees who must possess the necessary cookery NC2 or bread and pastry production NC2. An effectivity clause, this ordinance shall take effect immediately following its posting and publication in a local newspaper of general circulation within the territorial jurisdiction of Osama City. That's all your... Uh, your Thank honor. you, Attorney Aya, for introducing this, this ordinance. Now, the committee is now willing to receive your inputs, reactions, non-violent or violent action, joke only. Any reaction, uh, Ma'am LB? Good afternoon again to everyone. Uh, I'd like to bring you to section two. two. Objectives. Now, uh, it says here that uh, minimum of 50% of their employees. So in a restaurant, there may be 20 employees, five kitchen staff, and the rest may be driver, uh, utilities, and waiters. So I would like to suggest, sir, uh, Mr. Chair, that this 50% be limited to the food preparation staff the kitchen staff only because uh, considering the training program it will be it is not necessary for the rest of the staff to undergo training on cookery and pastry cookery will take uh, 40 days or 
320 hours, and pastry would take 18 days or 144 hours. So there will be, uh, if we limit it to the uh, kitchen staff only, those are directly involved in the pro food preparation, uh, mas maayo kay gamayra ang tao nga uh, mo eskwila o sa considering nga pag eskwila nila 8 hours pod 8 to 5 ang ma matangtang so mapiang ang tindahan 1 TV special 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 special, special report special report, report.